Hi, it's Lori the Armchair Chef. I'm in the kitchen again. I'm cooking. This time I bought some chicken um, at Walmart. It was marked down. It was about half price. I got it for six dollars. They were four large breasts and I've cut them in half to make <laughs> to make eight strips. My kind of guesstimation would be a tender, I guess, half a breast. So what I did, I happened to see this in the store, chicken and waffles, and I said, oh, great, I'll do like a shake and bake, which is like what we used to do in the old days. Hey, hey, and um, shh. I'll do a shake and bake like we used to do in the old days. So I got me a Ziploc bag, and I don't know how much uh, flavor is going to be on this stuff, so I'm going to season it. I already cut them. Oh, you can see them. Okay. I cut them up in half, so I'm going to do a little salt. My uh, pink Himalayan salt. My plain old uh, run-of-the-mill pepper. Nothing fancy. Um, and now I'm going to stick them in that bag. I'll put half of them in there and one of these packages of this seasoning mix. Oh, it spilled. Oh. Okay, well, you know, nothing goes wrong. It's not me cooking, I'll tell you that. Okay. It smells good, not what it smells like. So, okay, I'm gonna just use four of them and I'm gonna put some Nashville hot chicken seasoning in there with it too because why not so I am gonna use my toaster oven I turned it to 400 uh, these are supposed to cook for like 18 to 20 minutes so I set it on 20 so hopefully it won't take me too long to do this and it'll be warmed up and uh, you're supposed to line a pan with foil. Oh, darn it, spilled again. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Well, that's just gonna, I'll just, I'm gonna use some more sauce anyway, so. Okay, let's get that in the bag before I, uh, well, let's know. I wanna put the, I wanna put the chicken in the bag first. So I'm gonna do four. One. The ones that were on top that got seasoning, I'll do those. Three. Four. And then I shall put a package of this in, what's left of it. And I'm going to... Smells good. I don't know, spicy, whatever. I'm going to stick some of this in there. I found out that... Where did I put it? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I'm going to pour some of this in there. I don't really have a... Uh... Oh, I do have a spoon. So I'll, I'll scoop some out. This is a... It's a teaspoon. Just to get some in there. I don't know how much to put in. Just till it looks orange, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how hot it is. I think I've only used it a couple times. So let's put three of these in there. One. Okay. And then we'll close that up. I'll leave a little air in so I can mush them around. And we'll mush them around. Get them all coated with this. I remember when we used to use this and we used pork chops. And the fat on the pork chops would get all charred and crispy. Oh, that was like the best part. You know, fat is flavor. That's what they say all the time on TV. So if you have something that doesn't have a lot of fat, you have to make sure you add the flavor because it doesn't come with its own if there's no fat. Okay, well this looks good. Let's take these out. Put them on the pan. Oh, I don't know if they're all going to fit. We'll see. Put them at the top. There's two. 
I have two pans, so I could put them both in here. So maybe I just won't crowd them. I'll just use both pans. Three. Four. There we go. And I do have another pan, so... Stop it! Let's season the ones that are left down here. Some of that boring plain pepper. Okay, now I'm going to use both of these. If I can keep them still in this one, let's put this in there. use a different pan because so I had two of those black pans and I, I use them for things occasionally because I don't have a lot of space. Let me see if it's down here. No, but another pan. I have another pan I can use which I really like. Isn't this cute? It fits in the toaster oven real nice. Just, just perfect. Because it doesn't have little handles to stick out, I can fold these in. So I can put foil in here and uh, cook it in this one. So let's put those in here. And I'm going to put some more of that hot Nashville stuff in there. not supposed to get hot but I try not to put anything on it that will get damaged by getting hot it's not you know it's cool touch it's not supposed to burn you okay I gotta put some foil I use these sheets I get them at Dollar Tree actually I found them there so they're not real expensive but they're already pre-cut which is nice so let me put some in this pan And then we shall put I shall put these in there. One. Two. Now that pork I took out the other day that I, I uh, had in my other video, I decided to throw that out. It did not look too good. It looked, yeah, kind of dingy. And I had this chicken to cook, so I decided to do this chicken and I have all this rice that I got from Costco so I can have the rice with the chicken and there's vegetables in the freezer so this is a pretty good plan that I can tell for my lunch for the week because I'm going back to work tomorrow for my surgery um, Unless I decide to stay home. I've had a runny nose, and I know that's one of the signs of the new COVID. But also the wind's been blowing, and I have allergies. So I really... You know how hard it is to tell what you have when the symptoms are so generic? It's like back in the 80s when they said, oh, HIV is flu-like symptoms. Do you know how many things have flu-like symptoms? Everybody was panicking. Everybody thought they had AIDS. And it's like... Same thing now. Now, the best thing about 19 was you lost your sense of smell and taste. So you knew you had something. You really did. But now, oh, it's a runny nose. Everybody with allergies gets a runny nose. I've not had it. I've had my vaccines. But anyway, okay, I'm just saying. I might or might not go into work tomorrow. Because <laughs> I have a runny nose. Okay, 
Ready to put this in. Let's see which one this will fit. If this will fit on the bottom one, I'll put it in the bottom one. Ow. Let's move this out of the way so that I can do this. Oh. Yeah, tiny kitchen. How do those people in those tiny houses do it? My gosh. This is, this is difficult. Tiny spaces. Okay, let's see. This will fit on there. Will this fit down here? Ta-da! Okay, we'll put that one there. And this one's thinner. We'll put this one up here. And I have 400 degrees. And there's like 11 minutes left. So they're a little thick. I'm going to put that back on 20. And 400 degrees. So we'll come back when it dings. Now... I did put some chia seeds and milk in another jar. Well, let's pull that out and see. I don't know if it's had enough time to gel yet. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Well, it looks like all the chia is sitting on the bottom. Hmm, that's interesting. How do you guys do this? Why is it doing that? I'm guessing it's firm, but down there. Oh. Do you guys do this? It's all still stuck on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Well, I have an immersion blender. I may have to put that in there and uh, mix it up a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This is why I'm called the armchair chef because it's a crapshoot. It's in my head how it's supposed to turn out, but I have no idea if it's going to turn out. So, okay, well, I'm going to put that back in the fridge. Okay, I'm going to put this back over here, and we will come back when the bell goes off and take a look at that chicken. I do have a thermometer now, so I can check, poke it in the meat and see if it's done. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, let's see what we got. It smells really good. My dinger went off. Let's see what we got. Oh, that doesn't look done. <laughs> but I got a, I got a thermometer. Let's see. I don't know if this is good. <laughs> I even know how to work it. Let's see here. Is this on? part to see what this is. This chicken's supposed to be 160 because it's let's see it's 138 140 No I don't think it gets gonna get up to 160. It's stopping at about 140 in the thickest part. So, let me check the one on the bottom to see if it cooked any, uh, uh, no, definitely not cooked. Let's switch those out. Put one up here. Yeah, it's only 143. So, let's take that out. Put this one back and put it on the bottom. Let's do 10 more minutes.
I don't think 15 would hurt. Let's jump that up a little bit. Okay. Not done. I'll be back. Okay, this pan's finished. The um, chicken's at 168. So let me get the other one. It looks thicker, so I don't think it's done. Let me um, check one of the thick ones and see. Orange chicken? Because that's how orange chicken is, is, is made. Yeah, so we got chicken breast. Oh, maybe. 158, that's close enough, right? 160? Okay. All right, then they're both done. Yeehaw. So I'm going to let these sit. And... Let's see, let's show you how these turned out. Just, just on foil, there was no leakage. They smell wonderful, so I'll probably uh, cut it up, put it in a container with that rice, put some butter on the rice, and that'll be my lunch. Well, let me cut one open and see what it tastes like. See if that Nashville hot seasoning made anything uh, spicy at all. Let's uh, try this one. Let's see. Okay, it's a little warm. Uh -oh. Temperature wise, so let's take a little piece. The noodle around the egg roll, that's the only thing wrong with that one. But I have no gripes with this one. I normally don't. I, I usually am a dark meat person just because of the, the moisture content. It's usually not as dry. Okay, that's plenty of flavor. There's just a little bite. That'll be good cut up in some rice or on some mashed potatoes. And if you so inclined wanted to add a um, vegetable to make a larger meal. Now that um, chicken and waffle coating mix does have a little sweetness to it. So my guess is honey. So maybe if you don't put the Nashville hot in there, you could use that seasoning coating on this and then drizzle some honey over it and have it with your waffles. I think that would be delish. So I think this is the winner. I did good on this one. I'm still working on that darn chia. I might have to look up a recipe. I may have got the to check the ratios of seed to liquid. So I will be back with the, um, not on this video, but I'll be back to see how the chia will turn out. I'm gonna try it again. See you later.